What's up guys and welcome back to Super Gaming. Guys, I am so excited to be announcing to you all that we have finally crossed 500 subscribers, so thank you so much. I will never be able to come up with the words to describe how grateful I am to all of you guys, but thank you so much. I just, I'll keep saying it, like I'll try. But seriously guys, the support is unreal and I just hope you guys stick with me for this wild ride because I'm not stopping anytime soon, that's for sure. But with that threshold being crossed, like I said, I'll be announcing a winner for our 500 subscriber giveaway of Sonic Mania Plus for the platform of your choice. So congratulations to Jenna who has won the drawing. Make sure you respond to my email that I sent to you already so we can confirm the address and the platform of your choosing. Also, if I don't hear back from Jenna within the next 72 hours, I will be outreaching to a new winner and we'll go from there. But on to the Q&A portion of the video. That boy over there wants to know, what is your day job when you're not doing YouTube? I actually work in a medical facility as a phlebotomist, so I stick needles in people and draw their blood. Isn't that fantastic? Token Geek wants to know, why don't you love me like you used to? Is it the success? Is it the money? Do I just not bring home the sheep like I used to? And now, but for real guys, Token Geek is a great friend of mine who we have bonded over YouTube as content creators who have a very similar taste in their channel and how we operate it. So definitely, if you haven't already, check him out as well and show him some love. Token Geek also asks, what would you rate your channel on a scale of 1 to 10 and why? This question is always a little bit hard for me because either I'm too biased or I'm too hard on myself, but if I were to really give it my best shot, it would be about a 7. I know I have a lot of things to work on and I'm tackling those as we speak, but I do take a lot of pride in my work. I'm very proud of the production value I'm able to produce for you guys, and just overall the work I put into it is very satisfying, and it just makes me proud because I know I can show that to people and they'll enjoy it. Crimson Zexel wants to know, if you could pick one or two video game franchises that have had the most influence on your life, IRL or as a content creator, which games would they be and why? Since you asked for two, I will be giving you two games, first being The Legend of Zelda. The story behind that game, even though it's subtle at times, is a very strong one. And the lore of that series has just always spoke to me and I really love the series for its lore and just its overall look and all of its different games and variety. Number two would probably be Halo because I played Halo for as long as I can remember and honestly Halo is what got me into Xbox which is like the second biggest focus on my channel next to anything Nintendo. So it makes sense that I have one game from Nintendo and one game from Xbox. Both those games I believe have made me a better person and a better content creator so I'm really happy those games exist. Blue Voltage wants to know what video game world would you want to love in? Well if we're talking about love I would say Zelda because look at that booty. No, but in case you meant live, that's gotta be definitely Tron, but more specifically, the Tron world in Tron Legacy. That world is beautiful and unique, and just something I could really dig living in. J-Dog wants to know, can you please honor your King J-Dog? Okay. Oreo Soup, aka Army, wants to know why did you start a YouTube and have your intentions changed since then? I wouldn't say they really necessarily have changed. I started off on YouTube as a way to keep me motivated into becoming a game developer and just talking about games really gets me hyped and pushes me along on that path. I'd say it still does that, but now I'm kind of diving into YouTube in a way that I might be able to make a career out of this in the future. So honestly, either one of those would be great. But that also ties into your next question, besides YouTube, what would be your dream job? Like I was just saying, a game developer would be great, but more specifically, I want to go into public relations and communicate with people and just really form unique bonds that are found within the gaming industry. And finally, Army asks, how do you hope to expand your channel? Well, I have a couple things in the works right now, so expect some announcements coming next week. They're almost ready to be talked about, so just stay tuned. Awesome Gamer wants to know, I have a question, when is your next Splatoon stream? Probably never. I do love Splatoon, and I do plan on playing it on stream again very soon, but with the other games I'm playing and with the videos I plan on creating, it's not often that I can play it, but I do enjoy it, but expect one here pretty soon. But onto the final portion of the video, what's on my Nintendo Switch? I know I've been promising this for a while, so let's just get into it. Skyrim and Fire Emblem Warriors, I both just got today actually, so I haven't played those yet. I have Bayonetta 1, which I just recently started replaying with some new skins, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I mean, who doesn't have that game? Splatoon 2, yes, I still play that game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which gets a lot of use on my Switch due to me and my nephew both loving this game. Faya, which I beat on stream, but really I haven't picked up since the stream, so I mean, get it if you want it. I mean, it's a $20 game, so it's, it, it's okay for like 7 hours of gameplay. Bayonetta 2, I didn't play it on a stream, but it's a fun game nevertheless. Mario Odyssey, who doesn't love that game? Rocket League is another great one. I mean, it's just Rocket League on your other consoles put on the Switch, so it, it's, it's more of the same, but still amazing. Sonic Mania, one of my personal favorites on my system right now. I, I still go back every now and then and play it. I still have yet to beat the Knuckles portion, but hopefully I'll get to that soon. 
Jackbox Party Pack 2, we all know that game. We all play it on stream. It's great. Ukulele. <laughs> so let me tell you about ukulele. I love ukulele. I know it gets a lot of flack, but I feel because I waited for the Switch version, my reception for it was just a lot better than most. Because the way I understand it, it was really buggy when it first launched because, you know, reasons, right? But now it sounds like it's a lot better and me going into a fresh with all those bug fixes just kind of really amplifies the experience for me. Hulu, because it was there and why not? Resident Evil Revelations, which I have still yet to play. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, which I'm still working on. I'm only on the Shovel Knight game still. Not any other of the DLC packs. Brawl Out, which is a great way to get your Smash on until Smash 5 comes out. But once that game comes out, this one's getting deleted. Faux show. Phantom Trigger is a great one. It's awesome. Like, it's a great indie game and it just has a really unique style. I did a review of it on NTF, which you guys can check out on the website. Then we have Namco Museum, which I really just bought for Pac Man and Dig Dug because I love those games. Resident Evil Revelations 2, which I also haven't played. Sonic What? Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which is a great game and I recommend it to all of you. And finally, Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, which is another great indie game and I highly recommend you checking it out. But that's it for me today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and again, thank you so much for helping the channel cross 500 subscribers. If you have any questions about what games I'm getting in the future, or any other questions you want answered, feel free to question those in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing the video, because we have a ton of fun both in videos and on live streams, so definitely stick around for a little while. And until next time my Supa Troopas, I'll see you online. Vanilla Soup, out. Okay.